Uh, speaking of chatting, when you get real cozy with your boo late at night, you know, yeah. Mm. <laughs> How real do you... <laughs> you just run in this for yes, a real good moment right there. Aww. How real do you keep it? A recent article on Madame Noir asked if there should be any topics that are off limits when it comes to pillow talk. Like, for example, would you ever dish to your man about your friend's relationship drama? Or would you tell him confidential stuff going on at your job? Hmm. Ladies, what's your pillow talk? Protocol. Hmm. Okay, I think when you're married, it's different. I think <laughs> if it's job stuff, you absolutely can divulge that to your husband. Sure. Uh, best friend stuff or friend things, I actually think that if you have a great husband, they value the fact that you're a great friend. And they don't want to hear that stuff. Like, if you mm -hmm. told your friend... No, it's true. ...you wouldn't tell anybody, that means... Anybody. Yeah. So I think that's dope, but at the same time, you should be able to tell him everything, but I think he will value the fact that some things you've told somebody else, you're loyal to your friends, and they'll applaud that. Yeah. Pillow talk is very important to me. Really? I just, <laughs> yes, because... I'm a sapiosexual, you know? So I'm around that. What that? What that? that? Mine. Really? <laughs> that really? Okay, yeah. well, tell me if any of you ladies agree. A sapiosexual is someone who gets aroused by intelligence and ah. stimulating conversation. Oh, yes. oh, and then I'm a sapiosexual. Oh, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So I'm look, I think, uh, Yeah, and look, it sounds real fancy, but most people are. Ah, no, some most people are really, really are attracted to looks first or money really? or things like right. that. Yeah. No, it's all about conversation. So pillow talk can really make it for me. Like, most if, women are. If you. Look, I'm just saying for me, if you kiss this mine, she will follow. <laughs> so I want my pillow so, talk to be. Wait, I want to talk about like. Give us an your, example, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Real talk? Yeah. I, uh, okay, I, I shared this with you before. <laughs> my pillow talk, I, I, I'll give you a good example and a bad example. I know today when I, when I meet men and uh -huh. I have pillow talk. If it's stimulating, if we're talking about dreams, goals, um, questions that you want answered in the like world. What? Like give us like, an actual topic. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, I like talking about I like talking about world change. I like talking about okay. things okay. that you want to do Sexy. in your community, mm -hmm. like things you've done. The that, trade or, deficit. Or no, like no, 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 <laughs> somebody that you've helped, somebody you've recently helped. Like if I hear somebody that you, you've personally helped in your life, that, that turns me on. If I hear about um, your family situations and what you're doing to play a role in your family to help change that, that turns me on. Um, if you don't care and you're talking about things like um, if you're gossiping the whole time, yeah. if you're just talking about, if you're complaining during pillow talk, oh, yeah. yeah, yo, you're bringing up old people, old relationships. Yes. Oh my god, who yeah. does yeah. that? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. If you're just, if your pillow talk is blah, or if you just roll over and sleep, yo, everything dries up. Okay, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. But this is the thing about Wait, yeah. when you're single okay. with pillow talk. A lot of times. If you're single and and if it's that like the first or second time, usually the guy is trying to impress the woman. So true. You know, so he's gonna say some things. Yes. You but know. what I was gonna say is my pillow talk led me to realizing that my 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 ex and I weren't compatible anymore. That made me realize that we had nothing to talk about. Oh, your pillow talk with your ex. Yes, with my ex. Okay. Yeah, that pillow talk pretty much led me to divorce. It led me to realize we ain't connected anymore, and there's nothing you're doing that's stimulating me. And I'm pretty sure me for him too, because he probably likes to talk about things that I wasn't. Yeah. I, I think I wasn't passionate yeah. about. You right. know, right. I want. You have I want when I, in, when I jump into bed with you, I want to walk out of bed different than the way I came in. Ooh. You know yeah, that's dope. That's, that's nice. nice. I have a question. Is it the conversation before the sex or after? the sex. Well, I'm trying to think. Okay, wait a I minute. I think pillow talk is just that intimate moment whenever in your, when you're in bed No, you guys, somebody. like, on the real, I'm really trying to think if I even have pillow talk. <laughs> because yeah. I talked about, you know, when it's you have Adam. two kids. No, you don't no, have no, it. No, 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 ah. no. <laughs> when you have two kids and they're running in and out or whatever, because our kids were... One, like, sleeps in his bed, you know, at, at night. But Araya right now, she started in her bed, and now she's just coming in. Oh. So if we're going to get it, we just got to get it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, we go to bed. He looks at me. I look at him. We're like, ooh, yeah. Come on, let's just hurry up and do it. <laughs> and then I guess that's our pillow talk. But like I, don't I know. said, when you're single okay. and, you, and you, if it's multiple people, safe sex, okay. you know, sometimes after, you know, you do it, you share certain things because maybe you want to impress that person. Ooh, okay. And there's a vulnerability that exactly. happens when you're in bed together. Exactly. I'm so not like that. Even when I was single, 
Like, I think the pillow talk for me was before, which that's not pillow talk. That's like, <laughs> that's like, you, like you restaurant. You're doing an interview. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like, like the conversation for me is the foreplay. What play. is your five-year goal? Yeah, like that, that's <laughs> mental foreplay for after me. After you done had sex. No. Uh -uh. Now, and then, once you do it, I'm... I don't know. I kind of do just want to go to sleep. Like, shut up already. <laughs> like, I don't want to be like, da, 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 da. No, because Yo, sometimes. I, like, please. I will say this. Sometimes you can find out a lot no after you done got, you know, yep. after you that the release yep. didn't happen. You can find out a lot. But there's you, some annoying some people after. Like, really annoying people. And I'm sorry, but I've, I have a lot of guy friends, and a lot of them to told me that, just putting this out there. Uh-uh. Yeah. Jeannie. Yeah. OK. Uh, if, no, 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 I'm just saying about the yeah. pillow talk. You can talk to them, but don't, don't be annoying with it. Like, don't talk yeah. somebody to death where you're like, oh, of course. oh my no. God. Asking them just, a bunch of questions. I just finished, and now she wants to talk about world peace. Like, Lord. <laughs> like, no, it ain't that deep. It's really just, it's just really when you're done and you just kind of hold each other and you're just, you're, you're both, you just feel the vibe, just like a conversation. Yeah. Like, sometimes you want to roll over and go to sleep. Sometimes you want to eat. Sometimes, but when you, if you are going to talk, I, I, I think that, I think you're right about that, Lonnie. When a man is in bed with you and he's happy and he's satisfied, mm -hmm. he opens yeah. up and there's things, and then you get to talk to him about <laughs> things where he's not trying so hard. He's I know. just being him. So Anybody ever cried after? I oh, have, girl, I've yes. had that. Yes. I've had yes. that. Yes. Oh, that and is everybody? So yeah. Yeah. Look at God. Girl. <laughs> that is, no, I will say, that is, That's, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I've That's had, bomb. No, but wait, I, uh, I'm trying to. You talking yes, about the, the guy, guy yeah. cries oh, oh, after. Oh, the guy yeah. cried. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you where, cried after. Or where they're so thankful, they're just like. They just overwhelm with that. how much they love you or how they feel about you or how bomb you were. Like, they're just like. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> he said good. that, you know? He said no? that, he just, he hasn't cried. He not hasn't not cried. even shit, okay, this is gonna get Now weird. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna ask him, like, Adam, come on, like, cry. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, <laughs> you go ahead, wait, Adam, cry. have any of you, you guys, what? Have you ever seen the movie Stella Got Her Groove Back and she's in yeah. the shower yeah. and she sheds a tear during? Yeah. Okay, has that ever happened to any of you? Like, so oh, have well, we cried? Where, dang, where, there's people out here were like, yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Because it was so good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I was like, okay, I can't be the only one. You'd be like, <sighs> <laughs> and it just, like, you don't even, it's not like a, uh, uh. No, 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 a tear just comes out of your <laughs> eye, and you're like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't, I've I never. Know how it happens. I don't know if I cry because when in that moment, when it's so good and you're happy, you're just like, yes, honey. Yeah. Yeah. No, you've never been so tense with just one tear. You don't. Need, it's not like an intentional like. Uh, it's not yeah. emotional. It's none of that. It's just literally like, like wow, a, that was amazing, and it's a really nice no? release. Oh Jesus. No, <laughs> no. I pray that upon your life. I really do. I'm I good really with my do. Day, man. I'm good with that. So awkward. Well, yeah. okay. <laughs> speaking of what happens in the bedroom, a new study from the Journal of Sex actually found that More men have better sex with emotionally unstable women. Maybe that's why my tear comes out. <laughs> <laughs> you heard me right, people, okay? You said Researcher not me. Julia Velton found that women who have feelings of worthlessness, low self-esteem, and insecurity turn men on way more than women who have their stuff together. This is where it gets weird. Yeah. They found these women are less likely to speak up about their needs in the bedroom, giving the man more control and satisfaction. So, ladies, do you think that this is true? This completely <laughs> makes sense to me. Oh, it does? does for me. It does. Yeah. Here's why. I think that... Well, first of all, this the theory with un unstable women is, is that they're generally more insecure and unsure of themselves. So with men, or maybe men, who aren't confident with themselves, the only way that they can feel dominant is yeah. in the bedroom. So I think that they think that sex is better because they can control a woman. That's not the type of man I want to be with. No. The type of man I want to be with likes me the way you guys know me here. I'm assertive and playful. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I let you know that I'm confident with myself in yeah. the bedroom. I let you know where I want it, how I want it, and why you a good daddy. I, I have heard the thing. complete opposite of this. What do you I mean? have actually heard the complete opposite that Meaning? men like girls that are 
crazy, but like crazy anything. in a wild, sexy way. Yeah. Not in a crazy yeah, where you're insecure. Because when you're insecure, most women that are insecure don't really want to have sex. No, I'm, I think they, they like, mean, I don't want to take my clothes off. I don't. No, I think they Unstable mean, was the difference in that word of crazy. Right. Yeah, and unstable. I, and I think they mean that, that these are the type of women that are, they want to please the man so much that they'll do anything. Yes. So oh. then they're more experimental. Correct. And, and that's what but happens. But is the man only the one that is saying that it's better sex? Yeah, the man. This is from coming from a man's perspective. You got to understand, she's trying to keep the man, so she's doing whatever she can to please him. Yep. Then what happens? Happens, I think, is that the man, you know, realizes he doesn't want to be with her, mm -hmm. and then he tries to cut it off. That's when the so-called crazy happens, you know. Oh. And but that's why you shouldn't guys. play with somebody's emotions. Fact. No, absolutely not. Of course. Wait, Lonnie, though. You've never heard of guys saying, like, crazy girls are better in bed? Like, a little nutty. Again, we're not talking about... You. I, get I, even with with the, I get uncomfortable with using crazy, a lunatic, and things like that uh, when it comes yeah. to women. Because I don't want us labeled like that. Maybe, I think maybe it's the, more about I like feeling. to consider myself crazy. I think the better word is wild. When you're wild in okay. bed. When you're adventurous. That, right. that I absolutely... Are you adventurous? Yes, but guys, I'm being really real. I have, a, I have a specific guy friend who has actually said... Yo, crazy girls are better in bed. And what they mean when they say crazy is problematic, temperamental. Uh, but that's usually low self-esteem. There's something wrong with them that they don't feel that, good about yeah, themselves the and they need to work on themselves. They mean the kind of girls that like go after your car and like break stuff. Like, that, yeah. They say those kind of girls are bomb in bed. Because, because you, know, they, you they, know why they doing that? Because they feel like they've been wronged by the man. That's why they usually There's do that. There's a different that. aggression that comes you know, out in order. I'm just trying to get visually how is, and physically, how is it better sex? Because if only they one do person anything. Of They'll let you do the anything, act, Tam. They'll let it, you do anything. No, but what I'm saying is, to me, great sex is when both people are enjoying it. Do you see what I'm saying? It's but, a two-way street. But it sounds like the here, the man... satisfying. Yes. You, oh, you, the girl you, is enjoying... Correct, because right. that's where she gets her worth from. Because she, yeah. How? She's thinking that she's going to keep this man by doing certain things. There's certain things that you won't do sexually, no matter what. Yeah. But there are certain people and, and women that <laughs> think, not. if I do this, I'll keep him. Oh, geez. No, that's what we're talking about. Or not. Yeah. What, that's, what that's I'm saying boring. is... That's boring if you're only pleasing the man well, all Has the a time. man ever called any of you crazy before? No. Uh, never? never? Well... Never. Oh, I, I, I mean, think like, I've in a called... fun way, like, you're crazy. Yeah, like I think way? I've called... I, I've well, been called a bitch, I, There's a but, little... You know. Wait, you have a little bit called crazy on, like, how, how you, like, go off on yes. somebody or yes. how you... Oh, yes. yes. Work? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm the only, but I've called I myself go off on somebody, and then the make of sex be all extra, yes. you know, and they're into that. Yeah, yeah. But, but I've called myself you know. crazy as well. Yeah. I, I think I have a little bit of crazy oh, in me. Oh, for sure. No, you don't. I mean, uh, I, we both do. We've yeah. had good conversations you, about that. I think she, I think Tam can absolutely not be crazy, but a freak in the sheets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like I can wall out. Have like, you ever I can, looked at you her? You don't think she's crazy a little you bit? You know what? This is what I want to bring up. Describe. This is the one thing. Okay. Have you ever been with your a partner and, you know, you just looked at him and he's like in a whole nother world? <laughs> Yeah, I know sex, but yeah. Show like, us the face, Lonnie. Like, like, okay, one time it was like, I was like, <laughs> it was from the back, and I looked over at him just to see what was going uh -huh. on, right? Cause, and he was like this. <laughs> Tell him like he's listening to music. Oh, the sweet And I was music. like, he is really in his own. himself. He is enjoying himself, and I felt so good. I said, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. <laughs>